Okay. Welcome back, everybody. So tonight we are doing a lingonberry spice and orange peel soap with one of our kitties. So the kitty's already in the mold, and since we are getting close to that fall season, we are also going to make kitty batting at a little pumpkin. You can see that really cute. Isn't it cute? I made a little soaped up pumpkin. So um, that's what they will look like. We're going to do it in a kind of a tilted tiger, so kitty's going to eventually be tilted up this way. But in the meantime, we will go ahead and get set up and then we'll start making some soap. Okay, so in the background, you're gonna notice my sister is here on vacation. Hello. Uh, anyway, so if there's random peanut gallery comments, she will be taking the role of my black and white text for me this evening. Instead of me roasting myself, she will roast me for all of you. Isn't that fabulous? <laughs> anyway, so we are using lingonberry spice from Brambleberry as well as orange peel fragrance from Brambleberry, very festive combination of fragrances. And then for our colors, we are using Laurel Green from Nurture Soap. And that's this color here with a little titanium dioxide and just a little bit of the midnight blue because I love it so much. And then this is just titanium dioxide also from Brambleberry. And then this kind of purpley color is a couple different colors. It's Trial by Fire, Queen for a Day. And then of course, Midnight blue. I reserve the right to change that color. We'll see how it looks in my soap. I haven't actually made this color blend before, so I'm not sure what's going to happen. But hopefully, it'll be nice. So, we have got our oils here and our lye solution with raw silk, a little bit of powdered sugar, and the all important sodium lactate. Let me just check our temperatures real quick. We've kind of reheated this and unheated this and reheated this. This is a little warm. I think I should start to give it a minute. We're gonna give this just a second and I will come right back. Okay, so it's been a couple minutes and now this is much better. So now it's down to 97. These are probably in the 80 range. Yeah, 87, so that's good. That's nice and cool. I don't normally worry as much about that, but I kind of want a stripey design and I've learned that if I don't keep these kind of close and they're not going to behave. So same routine as normal. I'm going to go ahead and add our live solution to our melted oils. And I pour down the shaft. It does help reduce the bubbles. I don't, I don't get super crazy about this part. I know some people get super crazy about this part. No names mentioned Roxanne. I get super crazy about this part. <laughs> um, but I, I do try to pour it down the shaft instead of just like dumping it in. For the most part at least. Last little bits of slice solution there. Our sink is really full. <laughs> Middle of soap. And then I just start mixing this. Again, if this is the first video of mine you've watched, I go into detail about this in other videos. This is our goat milk. Fresh from our goody goats. And then again, not much stick blending. Um, I'm using a thicker, my thicker recipe. And I kind of want to do a more intricate design, so I'm going to mostly mix in a couple, just to get it to emulsification here. Is emulsification a word? Emulsify? Emulsification? To emulsion. To emulsion. Just to get it to emulsion. I'm very smart, I swear. I went to real college. Yeah, real school. With like letters and stuff behind my name. Yeah. Yeah, it's, they let anybody be a nurse these days, apparently. <laughs> Some bubbles in there, I can hear it. Yeah. Somebody didn't burp well enough. That's all right. I still think that other stick blender was doing me a dirty earlier. You think? Yeah, I think I'm going to try getting one of the kitchen aids for home. That's what this one is. Yeah. And I like it. I like the shape of the bell on those better. Yeah. 
So, I don't know. Desiree was saying that she didn't like that one as much because she felt like it incorporated more bubbles. I don't really feel like that on that one. Well, I've seen some folks drill holes in the tops of them, too, but I can only imagine that might make those... Drill holes in the top? I, I... Yeah, so <laughs> the top of the bell, they'll drill one or two... That's like pencil sized holes that's to let stressing the me air out. out. But the idea that stresses me out. Does this behave? I personally don't. This do colors that. behaves well. I know the orange behaves well. Let's throw it in there, see what happens. No, we'll wait just a hot second. Um, it's the link, and we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Do it live. Yes. <laughs> see how bad we're going to regret do this it tonight. Alive. Um, You're handling me tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I love doing it live. <laughs> Wee! Let's see what happens. <laughs> I don't normally recommend this when you've never tested it. Well, I got the orange peel. The orange peel is like a super, super well-behaved fragrance. It says it behaves well. So let's see if the Brambleberry testing and cold process. Oh, that smells so pretty. Can you smell that over there? It's I'm like, getting wafts of orange. Yeah, it's like but... fruity and orangey and a little tart. That's the lingonberry. The lingonberry. Lingonberry. It's lingering. The lingerberries. The lingerberries. So as I'm in the background over here, I'm editing one of my videos and realizing that the camera mount that I'm using here, you get a lot of great views at the top of my head. <laughs> I was wondering how you were doing that without getting a top of your head, to be honest with you. So in my, in my house, it's at a different angle, I think, where I'm never underneath it. Right. But here, it's just I mean, you put enough. it hella high up there. Yeah. I, mean, I think... usually have it kind of forehead height. Yeah, well, so I'm never ducking under it, but well, you, uh, yeah. you guys are gonna get some great views of my green hair. <laughs> I mean, your hair does look fabulous. I, I, you know, just saying. I'm really glad I had an apron on because you get some great views down my shirt. Oh, do you? <laughs> yep. Oh boy. Oh dear. Uh, I'm gonna start soaping in a turtleneck. <laughs> That's why I put it in front of me so you don't get like Whitney and the girls. Yep. Guest star. <laughs> yeah, guest starring. Cheeky Goat Soapery and her Tata Lindas. <laughs> like, it's not... We're going to put a PG-13 warning on this video. No kidding. Is this video for kids? Absolutely, Absolutely not. not. <laughs> I mean, so far it's behaving. Just going back to the actual soaping at hand here, just in case anyone was wondering. Instead of us talking about our boobs. They're real important conversations to have. Yeah, I know. If we don't talk about boobs, who's going to talk about them in their soap videos? Mr. Cheeky. <laughs> Definitely Mr. Cheeky. Surprised we haven't guest star appearance by him yet. I don't know if I like how yellowy that is. You might need some more TD. You get some TD and you get some TD. TD, for you. TD for you. I like the Oprah of TD. I support this. You hate TD. What are you talking about? I support Oprah. Oh, well, yeah, I support Oprah. Who doesn't support Oprah? She's Oprah's amazing. Cool. She's amazing. TD, on the other hand. Gosh. There's so much of my head in this video. <laughs> I'm so offended by myself. Yeah, well, that, that's that's why I stop and check the video every so often. <laughs> As established a few minutes ago, I like to do it live. Yeah, well, our, I, and I get that. And, like, I support you doing it live, as the kids say. But when you, when you, when you make hours and hours of footage of just the top of your head. Well, no, it's not just the top of my head, but there are definitely guest appearances by my green hair. Is it guest appearances or featuring? Uh, it's like a co-presenter. <laughs> uh, Alright, do I want more white in this? Do you want me to shake for you? Uh, no, it's alright. I'm just trying to decide if I want to get this lighter. Like, it's kind of a creamy yellowy right now. And I don't know if it'll... I don't know if I need to, like... Add more obscene amounts of texture. I don't know. I find that your blend of oils usually cures out pretty pale. It does usually, but I mean, this is this, this is my sorcery blend, so it tends to be a little more yellow anyway. Yeah. I don't know. Like, what do you think? All right, bye guys. This is going for a walk. What do you think? Should I add a little bit more? Uh, yeah, maybe a little bit. Oh, yeah. Fully yeah, yellow. that's going to go like an ivory color, I yeah. think. So I don't totally mind it, but I would like it a little bit more white. So we're going to add a little bit more TD. Oh, shake, 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 sh
<laughs> Poor Mr. Cheeky. We should not pick on him. He doesn't watch any of these videos though, so we can pretty much do whatever we want. No one will ever, he'll never know the difference. So supportive. He did make us delicious dinner tonight he though. Did. He always makes delicious dinner. I'm very supportive. Kudos to the kitchen skills of Mr. Cheeky. Yeah, he makes the best food. This is why I'm fat. I don't have an excuse like a husband that cooks for me. Oh, I mean, you you eat a lot of Thai food though, or whatever that is that's right next to your house. I do house. eat a lot of Thai food. Is that what that is Thai food you're telling me? Yeah, yeah. I live uh, across the street from a very delicious Thai restaurant and next door to a late night pizza place. And by late night, I mean they open at 4 p.m. and serve until 4 a.m. That sounds kind of amazing, actually. Oh, it's I'm the greatest lie. part about Seattle. Yeah, see, I, I might be able to go for city life if like there was more of that in my life. Yeah, I think he would like where I am in the city. Possibly. All right, let's start doing this. Some purple around the kitty. And it is bleeding under, so that's good. I wanted it to go. Mm -hmm. Do some purple in front of the kitty too. It's like a maroony purple. That's very sparkly over here. Of course you're sparkly. I just noticed that uh, I'm shimmering in the light. You're shimmering in the light? That sounds like a venereal disease. Because <laughs> it's just... just <laughs> uh, so, I'm shimmering in the light, and my kitty is going for a walk. No, kitty, go back. Go back, go back, go back. Are we still doing phrasing? Yeah, phrasing! <laughs> my kitty is like... All right, let's... You know what kitty I'm talking about? You need an extra hand on your kitty? Yeah, listen. You don't want to talk about ways to summon Mr. Cheeky. <laughs> this video is going to have to be filtered. Yeah, it will. There's any music over these parts. <laughs> wow, you started off so good. What happened? Uh, <laughs> that is a great question. I really like that green. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. Is that the laurel green? Laurel green with a little Long bit of midnight blue. blue. <laughs> And titanium dioxide. I'm obsessed with this midnight blue. It's a great color. I have a tub of it at home. Not quite as large and plentiful as your tubs, but I do have oh, one. It's not my fault that you don't know quality when I tell it to you. Oh, hey, no. I think every mica I own is nurture. Uh, well, it's because you had me to teach you right. I had other people led me down the wrong way. Oh, they're pretty spectacular. They're the best. We love you, Carrie. If you ever watch this video, don't hate us for being naughty. <laughs> Carrie's gonna be like, why did I give these two affiliations? Yeah. <laughs> All right, it is time for a pumpkin. And I need to clean my, God, this is a disaster. I am a mess. A pumpkin. A pumpkin. A pumpkin. Those little pumpkins are so cute. I know, and they come out adorable. I'm really happy with them. I'm really excited. Me too, especially since I spent like seven years making them. And she did, I made three batches of soap while she was making those pumpkins. Well, like the actual pumpkins. This one didn't take me as long. Pumpkin. Ugh, and the colors with this, I think, will be really cute. Yeah, I'm excited to see this. I'm pumpkins. really happy with that. So the pumpkin we're talking about is this little pumpkin here. Look how cute it is. Pumpkin. And we're going to try to stuff this in here, too. Oh, did I actually math right? I don't think I did. Math, hello, math. All right. I thought we left the soapy mask to Lisa. Yeah, we do leave the soapy mask because I screw it up every time. That's why we leave the soapy mask to Lisa. All right. That's going to be about as good as it gets, and now we're just going to keep on pouring. Okay, okay, sounds great. Good talk, everyone. Do, 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 do. God. I had a horse. Maybe I talked about this before. Gamble? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it only had elevator music in his head. <laughs> <laughs> like all good geldings do. Oh, God. He was this big, giant, off-the-track thoroughbred with chestnut. Sounds perfect. Four white socks. Absolutely useless. Had zero brains, broke both his, oh, what's the name? Synovial joint? Is that the word I'm looking for? I don't think that's the word. Yeah. And the front legs? Sure. Yeah, yeah, broke broke both of them off the track. Oh. Yeah, and so he was like on stall rest for like six years. That's tough, yeah, that's tough rehab. <laughs> and he was psycho. Absolutely psycho, and I loved him. That's my first horse. But he definitely had elevator music for brains. See, I'm a big fan of that, though. I, I like them when they're just dumb enough to be impressionable. Yeah, no, no, mm-mm. Uh, That's why I'm a gelding girl. Yeah, I like mares. Mare, bear, stare. Mare, 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 mare. 
Mer. I don't want them to have opinions of their own. I do. Give me all your opinions. <laughs> Should I put another pumpkin in there? I only usually usually put one. Mm, I might just do the one if it's the kitties reaching for it. Yeah, it is the kitties reaching for it. Yeah. I guess the kitty shouldn't look like it's getting bombed by pumpkins. It <laughs> probably would not be the pumpkins the, over Baghdad. <laughs> exactly. Would not be the uh, pumpkins over Baghdad. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's another way to summon Mr. Cheeky. <laughs> um. <laughs> Right. It's gonna like, be like Tetsu tonight with dinner. I know. Hello? 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 Do you have food for me? <laughs> I'm adorable! Yeah. Hola! Let me drop this down just a little bit. Just a wee bit. Just a little bit. Is the white after this? Yeah. I'm glad that I am so good at pouring soap that I remember what color comes next. She's super impressed with me. This is not gonna wanna go over like I wanted to. Aren't you? Dang it a little bit. That's what I always do. Yes, that's pretty much your MO to every soap. Just bang the hell out of it. You're just gonna bang it until it works. Collaboration soap, cheeky goat soap. <laughs> <laughs> With banging by Caprica Soapery. <laughs> there, I banged it. Are you happy now? Perfect. Uh, I'm messy. You need an adult? No, I do not need an adult yet. An adult to your adult? An adult to your adult. Should I get Mr. Cheeky? <laughs> he is definitely not the adult. <laughs> Should I go wake up your four year old? Probably. You're like, what's wrong? Mommy and Auntie Roxy need an adult. <laughs> She'll be like, all right, well, here is my My Little Pony. It's my favorite. Does that help? Can you just park a Tyrannosaurus to super bind this on top of the microwave? Listen. Tyrannosaurus is our serious business. I'm pretty sure we all could have used a Tyrannosaurus to park over the microwave to watch us. I mean... I have a lot of extra batter. Why do I have so much extra? Like, I usually make a little bit extra, but I feel like there's a lot... Oh, probably just the cat, duh. I am so pretty. Lisa, don't watch this video! <laughs> we <laughs> plan for extra because this smells so good, we want to make little, little samples. samples to send out. Lisa's gonna watch this and be like, why did I adopt that girl? I'm super into that green and that magenta. Isn't it nice together? Yeah. It's very lingonberry. Um, I'm feeling the vibes. See? Eventually I get there. It's gonna give me a little bit to figure out my colors. I'm into it. Digging it? Digging it. I'm feeling it. Alright, I'm gonna clean this all up a little bit and find molds for the copious amounts of extra batter that I did not account for in uh, my calculation. square molds over here. <laughs> I, that. I don't know if I want to do it with that one. I could just pour it in, like little cheeky molds so everyone has a little sampler oh, yeah. of what it smells like. I'd really oh, yeah. do that. Here. Yeah. All right, so we're going to come back and this will all magically be clean. I wish I could do that in real time, but it doesn't work out that way. So I'll be back. All right, I just brought this back on to do our little top because I wanted a little bit of gold because I like gold. I always want to do this with little droppy drops. Nothing about droppy drops. I am keeping my comments to myself now. You you can share your commentary, just don't mention adult establishments. I mean, it's not my fault that one of my soaps I made earlier is covered in gold mica, and now I am covered in gold mica. This is why we need adults. Back to the four-year-old and the Tyrannosaurus Rex. But I want to do like those little hearts that I always suck at doing. Oh, where you plop it and then drag through it? Yeah. Commit to the drag. I mean, I really don't have commitment issues, but apparently I haven't when it comes to this stuff. Also, I've left this in here for like a long time, and like the eco glitter in it is like chunked up a little bit, and it's kind of helping. Kind of digging this. Are you looking at more pictures of your head? No, I'm waiting for a video to save. Oh. Because I had to align it a little bit because my camera was a little bit too high. Hmm. 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 So it's about a third of the way through saving. Uh, all right, I'm going to drag this through and then maybe do a couple more droppy drops. Should I do the thick drag? 
Probably get a better heart with this. Should I do the big chopstick or the little chopstick? I'm gonna pry myself off my chair and come and watch. All right, look. So big chopstick or little chopstick? What's she gonna pick? What are you gonna pick? This one's yeah. kind of filthy. Big or little? Probably the bigger one. Big. Cause it'll make a better swoop. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god, where do I go? Maybe I do have commitment issues. I see it's sold too. Like, I don't know if I'm carrying too much stuff with it. Yeah. Let's swap to the littler chopstick. Okay. Because I do this sometimes and you gotta get like just, yeah, you're almost going in a little bit too far. Is that what it is? Yeah. That was better. You want to just kind of pull through the top layer. That was better. Did you see that? I do. That's better. It's not as horrific. Oh, look at that. I almost have some hearts. Look, this oh. one looks perfect. Oh, look at that. Mom, look, I can do it. Part of your problem is that you're not putting circles either. Well, like, I tried. Your shapes are a little bloopy. Yeah. All right, listen. I'm a little bloopy, okay? Like, <laughs> I like the colors a lot, though. Me too. Yeah, I, I wish I had, like... There. And I'll do a couple little bloops of the color of this, just to like give it a little accent. Yeah, I like it. An accentes. Why aren't you grabbing stuff anymore? I need another. Pipette. Eh. Eh. <laughs> you okay over there, Grandma? Like, what's happening? <laughs> it's a little flat of shape, and I ate a lot of food like 20 minutes ago. I know. Thank you, Mr. Cheeky. You're the best. Even though you don't watch my videos. That's okay. We could probably start talking about all the horses and stuff I'm buying in these, and he would never know. Yeah, you should ask your audience whether they think you can sub out one buckskin bear for another. Okay, audience. So, my sister and I have a plan and kind of a bet. It's a low key bet that Mr. Cheeky, who, mind you, has not noticed previous horses I've added, I feel like that's information you guys should all have. Like the fjord that I legitimately had for three weeks before he noticed. If he would notice if I swapped out the current buckskin mare. Which is a Morgan. For a new buckskin mare. Which is an Andalusian. And if he would notice the difference. And I think that the notice would be that you no longer have a horse named Sunny, you now have a horse named something else. I don't think he pays attention to the names. I feel like he has to know what their names are. I feel like I have a million goats and he still has no idea who they are. Sure, but keeping track of your 65 goats and keeping track of like the eight or nine horses, I just think he would be like, wait, didn't the buckskin leave? I mean, I'll just tell him it came back. And now it has a different name. Yeah. And is slightly taller and pregnant. No, whatever, you know, people change. <laughs> <laughs> Dice. Go for it. <laughs> Why not? Now that I did the little ones, I kind of want to make more little hearts. Do it. But just, I'm not going to swoop them. Just the tip, though. Just, just the tip. Yeah, listen, I'm not good at just the tip. Obviously, I have a child. You got to do just the tip. I am better if I do just the tip, just in case anyone was wondering at home. Is it better? They look like hearts? Yes. Little fall lingonberry hearts for you. Aw, yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. And this batter behaved really good. So I got away with it. Which I'm a big fan of. I like getting away with stuff. Like swapping out buckskins? Just watch. I'm telling you, he's not going to notice. I don't think he's going to think they look different. I think he's going to wonder why they have different names. Yeah, I'll just be good about not calling it names. I'll be like the buckskin horse. You give him a lot of credit that he knows what a buckskin horse is. All right, yeah, there's that, but listen. Just the yellow one? Yes, we'll do that. The blonde one. Yellow's probably closer. That's fair. Blonde, he thinks like girlies and... I mean, can he tell, can he tell Tilly and Twinkle apart? Um... Reliably? Um, most of the time? All right, all right. Mostly because I think Tilly had a fly mask on by herself until today, <laughs> and I put one on Twinkle, and I think he was like, hmm, is this horse mine? Which horse is mine? Which horse is mine? <laughs> Which one has the gaping wound on her shoulder that I need to medicate? I have, so I have a big bay gelding who goes out in a very large field with about a dozen <laughs> other big bay geldings. 
and I had a friend come out with me to see Orion, is his name, to see Orion a few weeks ago. And so we're standing at the gate looking down over this like probably 10 acre pasture, like it's a big kind of slope down the side of a hill pasture. I wish I had that much land. And she's like, oh my god, so many ponies, which one is yours? And I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm like, he's the one in the very back. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, really? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, how can you tell? And I, I said, you know, because I know what he looks like. Um, and we get out there, and obviously I, I was actually correct. That was my gelding that was in Africa at the back of a pasture. I was waiting for you to be wrong. No, Just no. so you know, at the end of the story, I was like, and was she right? <laughs> it was actually someone else's little bear. <laughs> but it was actually Orion. But as I'm leading him back in, other horses are kind of coming up to us because they like to mosey and see what you're doing. And, and she was just like, do you get better at picking out which one is which over time? <laughs> And I was like, I mean, you can tell your cats apart, right? And she's like, well, yeah. And I said, they're just kind of like a lot of cats. Yeah, big cats with feet. I'm like, they all look a little different. <laughs> but I think to this day, she's every time she's come mm. out, she's been amazed that I can from about four acres of distance. <laughs> no, your horse. I get that with the goats a lot. Which one of the big dumb bays is mine? <laughs> I get that with the goats. Like a lot of times people are like, how do you know which goat? Do they all have names? Like, yes, they all have names. Okay, we're done there. I'm going to go fill some molts and we'll be back. <laughs>